Hello everyone, Reza here. In this very short video, I will address one of the subscribers questions. And that question is how to stop the emission of a fluid container. How do we stop the emission once we put an object as a source of emission in the, in the container? Now for this example, I, um, picked a 2D container, but you can choose a 3D container. The method is the same. So you just need to think about where to look for what option. Every time you create a container, you have an emitter and you have the container itself. To turn off emission, you always need to search within the emitter. Every time you select an emitter in basic emitter attributes, we have the emitter type and the rate or the percent of the rate. Now that attribute controls how much emission you're getting. For example, if I play the timeline, you can see the smoke emits from the tip of the cigarette. And if I increase this value to something like 500, we're getting more smoke coming out. What does this tell you? it tells you you can actually zero this out and the smoke is gone. So basically all you need to do is to keyframe this attribute and control your emission. So I can kind of go back to frame zero or to frame one, right click on it and go and set a key, then go to frame to 50, bring this one back to 100 or even better, I set this to zero and set a key and from 51 to 70, I can ignite this emitter. Now, if I play back, you can see the first two seconds, nothing happens. Within a second, we have emission and you can continue. You can go to frame 160 and keyframe it. And immediately after that, in frame 161, you can zero this value out and set a key. And with that, your emission will disappear after 160 frames. It's that simple. So I hope you found this video useful. If that was one of your questions and hope to see you in the next one.